don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel. And also, you're going to want to download that Beauty Nook app so that you can watch the live wig show every Friday night at 8 p.m. Some great sales to be had. You don't want to miss that. Also, if you're new to Beauty Nook, you can use my coupon code Rochelle Ref. I'll leave it in the description box uh, to save 35% off your first purchase. So I hope that helps you, and I'll see you Friday night. Hey, wig friends. So um, today I thought I would review one of my older pieces. Um, buying wigs gets expensive, so um, we're going to have to start going through the old wig closet to see what I got. Um, disclaimer, I want to tell you right from the get-go, this is not a big head friendly wig. I don't even know why I still own it other than I just, I do, I love this wig. So I haven't been able to bring myself to sell it because I do love it. And I can wear it for shorter periods of time um, before it starts, you know, squeezing my head too tight. This is Alessandra by John Renault and the color is Venice Blonde. This is the only piece I have in Venice Blonde. I typically wear Malibu or 12 FS8. Um, I like it. I really do. The root is just, um, it's a little bit dark. So, you know, I mean, it's probably, I don't think it's really any darker than 12 FS8. But on this piece, um, because this shows so much, I think I would go with Malibu if I was to repurchase this, you know, new. Um, that's just me. So I love the face framing layers on this piece and, um, it's just so flattering. It's going to be flattering on a lot of different face shapes and it's kind of a classic style. It's not really ever going to go out of style. There'll be new trendy pieces that I always wear and buy, but this is a classic and it's just, just beautiful, just flattering. And it helped build my confidence when I was first wearing wigs. I, and like I said, I bought this used. And I just, I love it. I can't bring myself to get rid of it, even though it doesn't fit me well. Um, it's great for just wearing, you know, to a quick dinner or something with my husband. Um, where I'm not going to have it on, you know, all day. So um, let me go over the measurements on this really quick. Uh, and then also later in this video, um, I've had a few questions about my makeup and my lipstick. So I was going to show you what I use and I'll do that towards the end. So the measurements on this, um, the nape measurement, which I kind of feel to me is the one I always look at is 13.75. So this wig is not overly long, which I like also because I'm about to turn 55. And sometimes those longer wigs, I feel like they're getting harder to wear. Um, and this is just a great length. Wigs tend to sh run shorter on me, so do keep that in mind. Um, the front, the bang area is eight and a half. The crown is 13.75. The side is 10.5. Um, and the overall weight is 5.3 ounces. Um, it, the density feels light to me. It doesn't feel heavy to me. And so I like that it doesn't feel like a lot of hair. And honestly, I feel like this is just a really natural looking wig. Like I said, it really boosted my confidence when I first started wearing wigs. Um, it has a full mono top, so you can part it anywhere you want. And it's just a wefted cap. But like I said, if you are average or below, you should be fine in this piece. I am an average large at 22 and a half. Plus, I have a lot of curly bio hair I have to stuff under this cap. So it's just a little tight on me. If this was any other wig or I liked it any less, I would have sold it by now. But I just love it. <laughs> so I've actually contemplated cutting... Uh, or doing some something to it to try to make it bigger. That's how much I like it. Um, if, like I said, if I were to repurchase it, I probably wouldn't get this color. Just I, I like this part. I just feel like this is a little, a little bit naughty because it's dark. And I have a, I like to wear my hair sort of pushed back into a contour. So. Um, when I order 12 FS8, for example, I'll order that on a piece that is more swoopy and it doesn't show here because I like the contrast that it offers. If I'm going to order a piece that this is going to show, I'll go with Malibu. 
or I feel like I'm going to be pinning it back because Malibu has a lighter root. Um, that being said, I know a lot of wig sisters that absolutely love this color and we're all different. That's just my preference. Um, so I will show you, let me show you all the way around and we'll look at the cap. So you've got these face framing layers. And it comes down, covers my double chin, which is nice. <laughs> and keep in mind, this wig is used and worn and loved. Still looks pretty good. I mean, I've had this wig a while, and it was used when I bought it. So it's holding up pretty well. Um, you can kind of see these layers. And it's very flat to the head. Um, with all the layers, you could, you know, pull it back. Cute, it's very cute. You could twist it up. You can adjust this to you make this lay how you want. That's very cute. These layers make it real easy to pull it back. I get very poor coverage on this piece because it pretty much basically doesn't fit me. The ear tab, pull this up. The ear tab is all the way up there. So all of this is my hair. And my hair is lighter, so I take, um, basically looks like eyeshadow, but it's um, root powder, and I go in and I darken that. But with the way it kind of hangs down the sides, it doesn't show. So let's oops, look at the cap. It is a nice full mono top, so you can part this wherever you want. And the density is really nice. It's not too thick. I haven't done anything. Nothing's been done with this part. You can see it really well. Um, it has uh, these ear tabs, nice big with the metal. It's got an extended nape. Now, it has Velcro adjusters, and I have these bad boys completely, like, unhooked. They're just... I've contemplated cutting this or, or looking up some videos on how to make this bigger because I do really, really like it. And if I did figure that out, I would be inclined to buy a new one in a different color. So... Um, So pretty and like I said it's just a classic style the style is never really gonna go away it's just a simple you know face framing layer cut so let's talk about real quick my lipstick because y'all keep asking me to line my lips I use this uh, superstay ink crayon from Maybelline I have it in a pink color and sort of a uh, brownish for a nude lip um, I'll line with that, and then I use uh, this, and this is very inexpensive, NYX. Uh, it's very matte, and I it's um, I use like it's a light tan one, beigey, and then I have one that has just a slight pink tinge to it. And I know you're going to ask me the name. So the pink tinged one is Spirit, and the other one that's kind of beige is called Timid. And then on these. The pink one is number 25, and then the brown one, or it's not really brown brown, but it's 10. It's kind of a nude color. So those are my favorites that I use a lot. But the biggest thing that I absolutely love that I wanted to tell you guys about is this All May Goddess Gloss. Okay, this color is called Fairy, and it's a pink with a little gold flecks in it. It is so pretty. I love it. So I just started buying some of the other ones to check them out. And, and I like them all, but this is definitely my favorite. So highly recommend that. 
and I'm really kind of weird about glosses. This doesn't bug me. And it's, every time I put it on, I'm like, it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I wanted to just tell you guys that instead of writing it all out because I'm kind of lazy like that. <laughs> so it's just easier to tell you and show you. Um, so listen, ladies, um, if you are enjoying my content, please subscribe. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm second guessing whether y'all really want to see my content. So please subscribe, drop me some comments. Um, you know, I appreciate your feedback on everything and um, just let me know if you guys want me to keep going. It's, it's a lot having this set up in my bedroom, tripping over it, my spare bedroom all the time. And of course the expense and everything else. But if you ladies are enjoying these videos and getting some information that you find helpful from it and would like me to continue, please just let me know. All right. All right. I love you all. Have a great day. Take care.